my name is Tsuyoshi,、uh, uh, but I go by Yoshi, so you can call me Yoshi. I'm from Japan. I'm a physician working for a psychiatric, psychiatric hospital in Japan. And why I came here?、Um, because I've been involved in the、uh, hearing voices movement in Japan、uh, for the past couple of years or so. In Japan, it's still uh, uh, talking about、uh, their. Experiences with voices is、uh, considered a taboo, pretty much a taboo. So it's encouraging to see a lot of、uh, voice hearers、uh, speak up、uh, about their experiences. So、uh, when I return to Japan, I want to、uh, encourage voice hearers、uh, to talk about、uh, their experiences. I want to、uh, encourage voice hearers、uh, to talk about、uh, their experiences and uh, relate, uh, or, uh, relate to、uh, their experiences. Hi, I'm Matthew. I'm, I'm from Australia, but、uh, I live in Edinburgh and I'm studying mental health nursing. And I came because I was interested in anything that,、uh, any sort of developments which move away from a medical model and sort of Help people without traditional method.、Um, I work as a community mental health worker. It's just so inspiring to meet all these people from all over the world, and、uh, I'm happy that、uh, a lot of professionals、um, are doing this work for voice hearers. And、um, we're focusing on、um, ways of working with people and、um, using spirituality in our work to,、um, I guess, help facilitate、uh, recovery in voice hearers,、um, seeing as it's quite a prominent um, um, issue or, or subject. Just hearing, mainly hearing about other people's experiences.、Um, I think everyone has a different story.、Um, And hearing other people's、uh, stories helped me a lot. Having a break and being able to contact different people, I must have spoken to about 10 different people yesterday. And I mean, I think, again,、um, just seeing people that have had difficulties in the past with hearing voices and seeing how they've managed to transform their lives and, and stand up and present themselves so well.、Um, You know, it's such an inspiration. It really is such an inspiration. Yeah, the most interesting thing for me would just be meeting the people. It's been absolutely inspirational and it's been a fantastic experience.、Um, so much, you know, that feeling of community that we've all got with each other. You just want to think, what do we do with it now? It needs to go forward and we need to spread this message so that next time it's not 400 people, that it's, that it's much more and it, it moves forward. Let your own light shine and, like this, give others the permission to do the same. And I think that's what we should all do. And at the moment, I feel very strengthened to do that when I'm back at home because there's so many people we've been meeting who do just that. So it's been great, it's been good fun. So, what was the most useful? Most useful?、Um, the. The stories, I think, getting in touch with other people's emotions has been really powerful, overwhelming sometimes. The five people that got up this morning and talked about their experiences,、um, I like hearing about that sort of thing because I'm sort of in the same boat and it helps me a lot to hear other people's stories. In hospital, I get definitely another voice. With it, and it was not a very nice voice. It shouted me and called me names, and、um, they were so loud 24 hours a day, so it was really difficult to live with. When I went to the hospital for the first time, the mental、uh, institution,、um, I was really far out, and、uh, we were going to.、Um, <laughs> To the area where I was going to stay, and、uh, they showed me around、uh, this institution. And he came in the, the living room where every people were, 
and I saw this uh, a woman, a big woman in a clown shoe, a suit, singing and dancing, and uh, and a guy on the guitar who looked twice as stupid playing the guitar and singing, and I thought, what? They are this place. I don't fit in here. So I went to another room and were there for three days. When I came out, I discovered that these people I saw, they were anxious, they were paying to do a performance. And I learned to talk about what is happening inside me, how it is uh, called, and how I can um, explain it to people. And that was my saving of psychiatry. Thank you. I met a guy uh, yesterday from uh, the Netherlands. He, he came out, but we all are living. And uh, he's re really new at this uh, hearing voices portrait. And um, I, I think all voice ears uh, know what it is to be a voice ear. You're feeling really alone. And this guy felt alone too. And when he came out to our uh, to our village and he saw all the voice hearing people. Uh, he said, this is a brand new world. And he's right about that. This is a brand new world and it's a good one. Thank you. It's been really great to meet other voice hearers and the professionals, um, the, all the energy they put into this project. It's great. Uh, there wasn't enough of it. I needed more tango lessons. I couldn't pick that one up. Mr. R R Ronnie Nilsson and Gay Fredriksen from Norway will play. Being here and, and talking with so many voice hearers and compassionate and insightful clinicians has really helped me to look more deeply at my own experience of hearing voices and um, start to struggle with some of the things that I need to struggle with that I've been maybe not looking at or not um, having quite the courage to uh, address. So it's been really helpful for me personally to be at this Congress. I've been really appreciative of all these people from all over Europe and different parts of the world gathering. Um, I'm here to um, show my work um, that was a result of um, um, an art project with people who, who hear voices. I interviewed six voice hearers um, about their different experiences and, um, and then made a, a, a collection of images that, ref that were inspired by their experiences and listening to what, what they said the voices said to them and, and what, the, what the whole range of creative experiences and spiritual experiences they had. I'm so glad I attended the Congress because um, I could get to uh, meet a lot of people. It's nice to hear that you're not alone, meet people from other countries who've experienced some similarities of what you've, you've experienced.
they all, I left them because they cost five euros for rent and Marius uh, paid it. But I myself, I have a big, big, big colored towel. I think it went very well. It was really fun meeting my family again. And now they're all grown and I have to wait another year to meet my family. Overwhelming and, and very interesting, yeah. And that people find the, uh, the, the way to express themselves yeah. very well. Now for me it was like, very important how those people met. Fantastic at the bungalow. Huh? That and how the, the atmosphere, the people was, you know, I, I'm really, that, that made it, me go. It's a real good development of people hearing voices so totally different than in 1996. But for you, the highest point, Marius, the, the best moment of the conference? No, Everything. Yeah, he, he ha doesn't have points. No, I'm not that one. He's all black and white. Did you have points? Oh, no.